Actress Mayo Methot was famous for her roles in classic movies. She really stood out in the industry. People loved watching her act because she was so talented and could play many different kinds of characters. Mayo Methot's work in movies is unforgettable, and each movie she was in left a strong impression on audiences. Share your favorite memories or experiences of this amazing actor in the comments below. And keep watching because we'll tell you some interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her in this video. Born in 1904 in Portland, Oregon, Mayo Methot faced many challenges during her childhood due to her family's financial struggles and her parents' divorce. Despite these hardships, she found comfort in acting and participated in local theater productions. In 1923, Methot's career took off when she landed a role in the Broadway play Waterfront, which marked the beginning of her journey in entertainment. Her performance caught the attention of Hollywood producers, leading to her transition to film. Throughout her career, Methot encountered personal difficulties, including a turbulent marriage to actor Humphrey Bogart. Despite these challenges, she remained dedicated to her passion for acting, appearing in numerous films and stage productions. Methot's resilience and commitment to her craft shaped her career. She was recognized for her compelling performances and versatility as an actress. Despite the ups and downs, she made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Actress Mayo Methot, known for her strong presence on Broadway in the 1920s before joining Warner Brothers in the 1930s, faced personal challenges in her romantic life. Her husband at the time, Humphrey Bogart, famously left her for Lauren Buckhall, causing a stir in the media. Despite her professional success, she grappled with tumultuous relationships that often overshadowed her career achievements. Years later, Methot's mother, speaking to the press after her daughter's death, mentioned she never took her film roles seriously, considering them just for fun. This revelation added another layer to the complexity of Methot's life and career. Despite her undeniable talents on stage and screen, she struggled to find stability both personally and professionally. These events shed light on her career and personal struggles, painting a picture of a woman who, despite her abilities, faced challenges that affected her deeply. She remains a figure of fascination in the annals of Hollywood history, her story a testament to the complexities of fame and fortune. Mayo Methot, daughter of Captain Jack Methot and Evelyn W. Methot, faced tragedies in her family. Her father passed away on December 20, 1929, and her mother followed on November 27, 1956, outliving her daughter by five and a half years. They rest together at the Portland Memorial Mausoleum in Portland, Oregon. In the movie Boji from 1980, Anne Wedgworth portrayed her. She met a sad end, dying alone in a third-rate hotel in Oregon due to the long-term effects of alcoholism. Her body remained undiscovered for several days. Mayo Methot, a well-known actress of her time, faced numerous challenges, including pressure to maintain a youthful appearance in Hollywood. In the entertainment industry, especially for actresses, there's a constant demand to look young, which often leads to intense scrutiny and insecurity. She personally experienced this pressure, feeling the need to compete with younger stars and constantly undergo beauty treatments to meet the industry's standards. Beyond the pressure to stay young, Mayo also struggled with personal issues. Her difficult marriage to Humphrey Bogart, marked by alcoholism and frequent fights, added to her challenges. The public scrutiny of their relationship only made things harder for her as she tried to balance her private life with her career in the spotlight. Despite her talent and successes on screen, Mayo's personal struggles often overshadowed her professional achievements. She battled alcoholism herself, turning to drinking to cope with the stresses of fame and her troubled marriage. This struggle with addiction further complicated her life and career, impacting her health and relationships. Mayo's story serves as a reminder of the significant challenges many individuals face behind the glamorous facade of Hollywood. Despite her talent and fame, she grappled with pressures to stay young, the difficulties of a tumultuous marriage, and her personal battle with addiction. Her story sheds light on the harsh realities that can accompany fame and success in the entertainment industry. At 17, Mayo Methot tied the knot with her first husband, John M. Lamond, a cameraman at Cosmopolitan Productions. Her early years were shaped by this marriage, showing her youthful dedication. Later, things got rocky when she married Humphrey Bogart. Their relationship was stormy, marked by violent arguments, like one where she brandished a gun. Once, guests Gloria Stewart and her husband found themselves in a scary situation during one of these fights, fearing for their safety. Thankfully, no one got hurt. 
In 1929, she made her mark in entertainment by introducing the song More Than You Know in the Broadway musical Great Day. This moment was captured on recording and has stayed with us over the years, showing her impact on the arts. Mayel Methot's life, with its early marriage, tumultuous relationship, and notable contribution to music, reveals different parts of her journey through the years. Mayo Methot began her acting career with the Baker Stock Company in Portland, Oregon. In 1922, she moved to New York to perform in various productions such as Great Day, All the King's Men, The Song and Dance Man, and The Medicine Man. At the time of her passing, she left behind one $400 in cash and a Los Angeles rental property earning $3,000 monthly, which she bequeathed to her mother, Evelyn Methot. Adjusted for inflation, the rent she received amounted to nearly $34,980 per month in today's dollars. Her bank balance totaled $16,324. Dollars she crossed paths with Humphrey Bogart while working on Marked Woman in 1937, and they tied the knot a year later. Mayo Methot's life and career encompassed diverse experiences from her early days in regional theater to her later appearances in major productions, leaving behind significant financial assets and a lasting union with Humphrey Bogart. Actress Mayo Methot, often known simply as Mayo, had a tumultuous seven-year marriage with tough guy actor Humphrey Bogart. Despite Bogart's tough image on screen, he faced challenges in his marriage due to Methot's excessive drinking and violent temper. Her reputation for volatile behavior spread widely in Hollywood. Their relationship was filled with conflict, quite different from the heroic characters Bogart played in movies. Methot's erratic actions and Bogart's struggles with their relationship highlight the complexities of fame and personal life in show business. Despite their difficulties, Methot remains a notable figure in Hollywood history, her story reminding us of the human struggles behind the glitz and glamour of the silver screen. Renowned as the Iron Maiden of Warner Brothers, Mayo Methot had a turbulent life, especially because of her stormy relationship with fellow actor Humphrey Bogart. Despite her talent on screen, one sad truth about her life was her struggle with alcoholism, which eventually led to her early death at 47. Despite her undeniable talent and potential, her personal problems overshadowed her career and left a lasting impact. Her story reminds us of the darker sides of fame, and the toll it can take on someone's life. Mayo's life was a sad story of love, fame, and struggle, leaving behind a tale that still fascinates and troubles audiences today. Indeed, the story of her turbulent journey remains in the history of Hollywood, a touching narrative that shows the complexities of human life. It's a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour hides a world of pain and vulnerability where even the brightest stars can fall into darkness. Mayo's life, with all its ups and downs, remains a reminder of how fragile fame can be and how powerful storytelling is.